Hello, this is Gregory the Poor Typist, and today we are showing what I believe to be a fairly uncommon typewriter, even though based on the build of it, it seems like a very uh, low-end typewriter. Um, you have a, a plastic body, basically. Um, it does feel kind of cheap. But nevertheless, we have the Sperry Rand Remington Streamliner. This, I believe, and this is almost a complete guess because there is little information on these. Um, I believe it to be from likely from the early 1960s. Uh, someone else I spoke with said probably the 50s, but I don't know. The... The plastic body to me screams 60s, so <laughs> nevertheless, there you go. Um, so yeah, we, the Sperry Rand Remington Streamliner and this beautiful, um, oh, I, I guess aqua color? Um, yeah. And it, I don't know if you can see it. But the, the top is a lighter color. Actually, you can see it better here on the back. And the the bottom is um, a darker color in the, the same family, basically. Um, yeah, so let's let's give this a test type. The Sperry Rand Remington Streamliner. 60s. <laughs> All right. Oops, back space. Yeah, so let's see if we can focus on that. Yeah, this is the original ribbon that came with it. Uh, it actually still has a fair amount of life in it. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm pleased about that. Um, typing on it, uh, let's see if you can see the keys here and put them at an angle maybe. Um, first of all, there's a lot of a lot of space in here. And the the keys are there's a lot of movement to the keys, um, which doesn't create the best typing experience. Um, and sometimes your finger finger will end up in there. Although there's so much space in there <laughs> that it it's it's not painful like on some typewriters and some you get your finger stuck in there and it can be a little painful uh this one not so much um let me see the, the space bar um yeah so and it, it you probably noticed it's is very very loud <laughs> uh yeah this is a, a very loud typewriter um I don't know, the the platen um, does seem pretty hard. Um, <clears throat> I'm sure that has something to do with it. Otherwise, uh, it's it's a good solid typer. Yeah, definitely. Um, let's, let's do a little bit more here. Oops. Oh, man. <clears throat> and one thing it, it does, and perhaps you can see it there, uh, when I do the carriage return, um, I think I think the platen isn't fully rotating into place, um, if that makes any sense. And, 
you can see what I mean by the, the, the letters slope down. I mean, that looks like a capital W, but it's, it's actually a, a lowercase w. So they're, they're, those three are slooping down. Um, yeah, so that's one issue uh, with this particular typewriter. Um, and I'm not sure how to address that, but uh, I mean, it's not a, it's not like a, a deal breaker, but uh, anyway. Yeah, and right there you can see like just how how much it slopes down. I mean, that's that's a lot. <laughs> Um, just for consistency here, let's. Ah! Typing. <laughs> Type this. Uh, that one's not as bad. Um, in fact, it, after the three W's there and the dot, it does seem to drop down a little bit. Um, and it, it it appears to just do that at the beginning of the line. So, um, oh yes, as I was, uh, I took this to a type in, and as I was typing on it, uh, I realized that the paper shifts a lot. Um, like already, I don't know if. Uh, uh, you might be able to see it right there. It's already starting to shift right there. Um, I had this perfectly aligned when I started. Um, and already, just after a few lines, it, it's shifted. So I suspect um, there there's an issue with the feed rollers. And that's not something I've ever dealt with before, so I'm not sure how to go about fixing those. Um, but that's definitely an issue. Um on this on this particular typer um, other than that it, it's I, w I wouldn't say it's the most pleasant typing experience but it's not the worst so anyway I just thought I'd do a, a quick typing test of the Sperry Rand Remington streamliner and yeah I I'm surprised you, there aren't more of these out there um, because I do suspect, you know, it was, uh, given that it's, it's plastic, I would think that there's a lot of them out there, uh, seeing as it was very likely on the, the lower end. So anyway, all right. Well, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.